My name is Adriana Gonzalez, and I'm from Bayshore, Long Island. It's my school. <laughs> being able to juggle everything. I'm proud of being able to be a mother of two. And at that, my, my daughter is epileptic, so it's not easy dealing with her either. She's slow. She has a chromosome disorder that's going to make her slower. So I think dealing with managing about eight, 80 apartment buildings, at least, this is about 80 to 91 buildings that I manage. And I go to school at night and I deal with my two kids. I think I'm pretty good. <laughs> I got him in baseball, so I'm hoping he sticks to baseball. He stays in school and, you know, he finishes. My daughter, I hope, I'm hoping she talks. She don't talk, she can't communicate. So I'm hoping that when she's older, she'll be able to communicate. And I already got the understanding that she's gonna live with me, you know, most, most likely for the rest of her life because of her condition. So I understand that, but I just hope that she's, she'll be able to function. A lot of people um, suffer from self-esteem issues. I did too when I was, when I first started modeling. Um, I think I, as I started to model more was that my self-esteem started, started to grow bigger and like even with other people, I've, I've modeled with other girls and other girls can be really mean. Like I'm, I'm short so I've been in stuff with girls that are like six feet and I'm 4'11". And they look at me like, you know, so like, girls are mean. I like to eat. I like to go to restaurants <laughs> and eat. I like to go shopping. Um, I'm always with my kids. So it's rare that I get to go out like alone and do something else. I like to take them to like different parks and stuff like that. Like my, my daughter likes to run. She loves to run and walk everywhere because she got a limp. So, but she likes to, I guess, run with her limp. <laughs> yeah, so, but my son, I wanna start, they don't, they're young. So it's like, they don't really understand too much yet. But my son now, he is starting to understand because my daughter's nine, but her mentality is that of like a one-year-old or two. So, now is when I'll probably be able to start taking them to places like museums and like trips and stuff like that where they'll be able to understand. I like the, I mean, I like shooting with the, I like shooting in general, so. Male photographers, they suck. Like, they're so, I had, I had to stop filming for taking pictures with a guy because he got drunk and wouldn't stop texting my phone. Like, oh, I'm in love with, like it's, male photographers, a lot of them, they get it, I guess you could say mis misconstrued, that's how you say it. Like they, 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 I don't know, it's weird. Males, they're weird, I don't know. And females are picky. I think anybody could do it. Anybody could do anything, I think. I don't think anything's impossible. I mean, I juggle, I juggle life, I juggle everything. So I think if I could do it, and I'm 25, I'm still young, you know? So if I, I think I could do it, if I could do it, anybody could do it.